Are you someone who likes Halloween events and games? Maybe you played through the Festival of the Lost in Destiny 2, Hallow's End in World of Warcraft, Fight or Fright in Apex, or even The Haunting in Warzone. You may or may not know about the Halloween event in The Hunter Call of the Wild. Back in 2017, we were given numerous missions around three reserves at the time being Leighton, Medved, Hirschfelden, and this was loads of fun, but unfortunately we haven't seen anything like it since. The closest we have is when the Hunter Classic adds in werewolves for a week or two every Halloween. Now I remember the event in the Hunter Call of the Wild to be a lot of fun, really spooky, and just an enjoyable experience because it was something different. Now for the past, what, five years? We've had the same content kind of over and over again. Yes, we've had different reserves, but it's been the same sort of feel. I think we need something new. I think we definitely need that little bit of an update to spice things up a little bit and, you know, make it just more interesting. Maybe bring players back because I remember with Destiny 2, for example, the Festival of the Lost was what brought me back into that game. And I ended up playing like another six months after that event only because I got to play something new on a game that I had previously played for over a hundred hours. On that note, I was browsing Facebook the other day and I found these three images. Now, unfortunately, no, these aren't teasers for a new event that's coming, but this was created by someone named Krisky. They are a Brazilian YouTuber who creates Call of the Wild content. Someone you should definitely check out. But how cool would it be to have a different Halloween event on a different reserve each year? That would already set up 12 years worth of content. Now that I think about it, it could even be more. But hunting a Bigfoot over in the Medved Tiger, killing a Wendigo in the Leighton Lake District, a werewolf, a Yukon, this would be just amazing. It could be a wanna save trophy, which would be really cool as well. And I know it would bring a lot of players back to the game just to check out the new animal. Now, I know some of you are already thinking it's a bit weird to put such a fictional animal into a hunting sim, right? Look, I, I guess you're right. But at the same time, like I said before, the Hunter Classic adds in werewolves every year. And to me, that is more of a sim than the Hunter Call of the Wild is. And seeing as it's only going to be a week or two of the year, I can't really see it being that much of an issue. Do you? I'm just thinking of like my trophy lodge having a whole room dedicated to these animals or monsters or whatever you want to call them. And I just think it'd be a really cool addition to the game. I'm curious to see what sort of monster or animal you want to have in the game. Would you like to see a chupacabra or something else of that nature? I guess this also opens up a whole variety of different event possibilities as well. Like there could be some sort of turkey event for Thanksgiving, some sort of reindeer event for Christmas. I mean, just having like a rare fur type over the Christmas period where a reindeer has a red nose or something like that. Really simple, but I know a lot of people would be out there trying to hunt for that thing. And like, you could even have stories that go along with each of these animals. Now, if you don't want to have a fictional animal like a Wendigo, then just make it a killer black bear that's been on the loose and has mauled numerous hikers or something like that. I don't know, something a little bit different, adds a bit of a spooky factor into the game, especially if you have a hunting thing in that night, you know, like it's, that'd be cool. But I don't know, I guess I just play the game, you know, the way it's supposed to be played a lot of the time, which is just, you know, walk into one lake, harvesting an animal, go to the next lake, rinse and repeat, which look, I know a lot of people enjoy, but give me more. If There's so much capability. But yeah, as I was saying, I just want a little bit more from the game because I know the game is capable. I love this game and I want to see it thrive and adding things like that would be amazing. One more thing I wanted to touch on before I ended this video is... Actually, the reason why I chose to play on this reserve today, the Yukon Valley has dynamic weather in the sense that it snows, but from that snow, you have snow actually on the floor. This whole landscape here, although red at the moment, would turn white and it looks really, really cool, which begs the question, should we have seasons in the game? Now, these seasons could be on a three week cycle or four week cycle or whatever, really. And not only will they change how the landscape looks and leaves turning brown or dropping or anything like that, but also the way in which you find animals. Now, we all know that bears during the winter hibernate. So therefore, you'd be seeing less bears eating, drinking, and a lot more of the time resting. You would have plains bison probably more active in certain seasons and other prey animals doing other things that they should be doing during that season in their zone. I feel like that would just add that little bit more sense of realism. Yes, I understand it's a lot harder to do, but wouldn't it be a lot cooler? I don't know, you let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. If you do like what you see, please hit that like button, consider commenting and subscribing, and I'll see you in the next one.